Get connected for free with Education Connection. Get connected for free. Education Connection. <clears throat> Oh, I can just use that as my intro. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to a new episode of I pre-ordered this shit and still didn't get a numbered one. I ended up ordering two Jet Dawson's from the Amazon pre-order and they kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and Target ended up getting the Jet Dawson dolls on shelves first before anybody else. So there was no point in pre-ordering. This whole thing was a fucking mess. And I don't even know why we did it in the first place because none of mine are numbered. I'm still gonna keep them though because the more dress forms I can get, the better. But I'm just really upset. I know a lot of people have already unboxed theirs. I'm gonna unbox mine. I know she's not the most relevant now, but I just kinda wanna open her, talk about how there's no point in doing a dumbass pre-order if you can't get your shit done. MGA, you giant mess. Other than that, <laughs> um, I don't want the MGA stands to like get angry. There's probably a lot of good about this doll. So I'm excited to open their collector version of a doll and take a look at her little accessories and everything. But we'll bring you guys in for a closer look. Okay, and here is Miss Jet Dawson up close in the packaging. She's really pretty, like her face looks great. I'm hoping all the accessories and clothing are just fine, especially for that $60 price point. Art of fashion, she comes with that red dress that I'm not super into, so I'm hoping once I take it out, I'll like it more. And then Rainbow High 2021, then there's a little sewing machine, some shoes, some more trunks, stuff like that. Here we have the tag that is not numbered this beautiful artwork with this graffiti. And Jet Dawson is it. The up and coming fashion icon debuts her first couture collection. Jet Dawson est fabulous. What the fuck? Oh my God, I'm reading one. <laughs> I'm reading the French. Anyway, <laughs> All right kids, let's get her unboxed. Okay guys, so that was really um, annoying to get her out of the packaging. The inner packaging actually came out of the outer packaging pretty easy, but getting her out, she had about a thousand of those little tabby sticky stays, you know, the little plastic bits. And yeah, but she's really cute. Her face is adorable. It looks like she has some extra articulation. Her hair, uh, kind of a mess coming out, but we'll clean it up, smooth it out. I love all the colors. And then she came with her dress, this beautiful stand, which this is actually like material, not just some paper like Barbie would do. This is actually covered in fabric. You can see it's like moving around and everything. And then it's just plastic, a little plastic sewing machine, an extra pair of shoes, a hanger, her comb, another hanger. And yeah, that is Jet Dawson up close, but let's go over the other details. Okay, so the first bit of information to go over with Jet Dawson is obviously like her main look. She has a little bun on top, just held together with a thick rubber band. Uh, half of her hair is rainbowy, half of her hair is jet black. I know she has like bald spots and stuff. Yeah, she's she's definitely got a couple of bald spots back here, which it's mostly covered up by the hair, but I'll show you guys. Like right through here, that's all plastic, this black and pink part. There's barely any rooting coming out of it. And then her outfit is, it has this like whole motif where it was like kind of drawn together or scribbled or sketched or something. So it has printed on details, but that's part of the aesthetic, not an excuse to cheap out. So I like that. 
And then her leggings also have like the scribble motif, her shoes, it looks like she has some ankle articulation, so that's nice. A little skirt. Says rainbow high. She does have a belt around the bottom part of her jacket. Let's see. Oh, her ears are pierced, even though she doesn't have earrings. The back of the skirt is held together with Velcro. The jacket, the hoodie. Uh, the back of the jacket just says rainbow high. The front of the jacket just has more of those like drawn on details. Yeah, and then the leggings do actually go all the way over the feet. And then are hemmed all the way through. And then just kind of look like little tights underneath. Like pants almost. I am struggling a little bit to get the tights off without breaking them. They're pretty tight. Um, silver holographic looking panties. There's like a rainbow hue in them. Oh, and then I forgot. She has these little like leather wrist gloves on them that say RR. RR. And then the rainbow high jacket underneath is also long sleeved, has little wristbands and everything. It's staying on theme with the black and white. Very cute. Her nails are painted black. So I haven't watched any of these videos on Jet Dawson because I wanted to wait for mine to show up so I could form my own opinion. But it looks like we got a bunch of new articulation. Um, this piece that I just took off of her. It's leaving like a ton of this fuzzy lint everywhere, which is fine. It just, I just want you guys to know. Okay. So it looks like Jet Dawson can move in the head up and down and side to side, kinda. She has a chest pivotal plate with a full range of motion. She is articulated in the shoulder, the elbows, the wrist, the hands come off for easy dressability. She can kick her legs forwards, backwards, out, pivot at the thigh, bend at the knee, and she has the new um, ankle articulation that not every doll has yet. And that's that. So let's get her dressed in her main dress. Okay, and here's Jet Dawson in her main new dress with all the red, silver, sewn-in details. Very cute. Underneath we have some more like layering on this petticoat portion, or I don't know what this is, but uh, just a ton more layers. I didn't put her other shoes on because they are lace-ups and I don't want to fuck with that. So, and you can't really see her shoes underneath the dress anyway. And it has this cute little mermaid silhouette. Um, all the details are showing up even in parts that are hidden. The ribbons are held down with like the little plastic tabby things as usual. And it is held up with straps. Then back here we have this big old bow detail. And it's just a lot more like black and red and just, I don't know. It's, it's a cute dress. It's not my favorite, but it's cuter than I thought it was. So the main reason I even got this, obviously we wanted a new character and this Jet Dawson doll is very pretty but I love accessories. I'm a huge slut for accessories. And this cute little dress form, I'm so glad I'm gonna have two of these now. Like actual working wheels that rotate and pivot. The dress form is plastic underneath, but it's covered with this fabric layer on top, just really giving it a more realistic feel. It says Rainbow High 2021. And it came with this little like ribbon. It's kind of like made out of a, vinyl material almost. It's got some stretch and give to it. And then they even took some more vinyl and buckled like the ends of the ribbon. And then it does like a rainbow ombre effect through and it actually measures out centimeters and inches. And you know, if this is Barbie, it would just be like paper or some shit. And then we have this cute little sewing machine that if you actually rotate this part back here, the little needle moves. And then we have another acrylic trunk with gold details and everything. And then we have these shoes that are held together with ribbon and then you tie them. I don't want to put them on my Jet Dawson because I don't like dealing with ribbon shoes or any shoes with shoelaces. They are mostly white, rainbow on the bottom, and then they have an R and an H for the heel. Just 
cute little piece. Love the extra shoes. They'll look great in the closet. Then on the second case, it just comes with her rainbow high hanger. And the acrylic case actually has some weird dust on it for some reason. Um, I'm sure there's a reason. It just, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's not anthrax. But yeah, guys, so that is my Jet Dawson up close. I'm glad I have her. I'm glad I have a second one. I'm not really happy about how the pre-order went. Um, MGA, if you can't do a pre-order right, just don't do it, you know? Like, it's totally fine. And maybe don't send all your numbered dolls out to every single YouTuber on the planet because maybe that's why some of us weren't able to get numbered ones. I mean, there were only like a thousand. But still, I assumed from like the Amazon pre-order that mine would be a thousand if I did it early enough. And I literally did it like the second the listing came up. Anyway, that's my rant. Let me know what you guys think about your debt. Dawson. I think she's gorgeous. I'll probably keep her in her other outfit more often though because the dress is cute, but I think it would look cuter on the form. We'll see you in my next video where my brothers and I grow up in the sewer, get adopted by a rat, and then learn how to fight crime. That's still stuck in my head. Get connected for free with education connection. Get connected for free. Oh fuck yeah, that looks so good on the form.